channel. All right, Libra, this is your reading for February 2020. Uh, this is for Libra singles as well as Libra couples. So we're going to do your love readings, begin, uh, beginning with Libra singles. And then we're going to do the love reading for Libra couples. And then general messages, precautions, warnings, uh, just things for you to look out for in the month of February uh, for Libra. Libra um, total. Libra the collective. All right. So before we jump in, thank you to all of you who are subscribed to this channel. If you haven't yet. Please hit the sub button and the bell notification. I drop videos weekly. And if you like a private reading, information is in the description box below as well as the pinned comment of this video. All right, so Libra singles, let's get into your February. Let's see what's coming up. All right, universe, thank you for the messages. Tell us about Libra singles love life for February 2020. Libra singles love life. February 2020. Thank you for the message of your life. Libra Singles Love Life. February 2020. Libra Singles Love Life. February 2020. Thank you for the channel message of your life. Thank you. Singles Love Life. 2020. Any more cards? Libra Singles Love Life. I'm going to take those. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Anyone you want to sleep with this thing. All right. Bottom of the deck. Knight of Swords. All right. So you all are definitely in communication with someone. Turn this light down. You all are definitely either in communication with someone or there's someone on the way. But I'm, I'm getting more so, this is messages, but this this is, yeah, th these are good messages. I'm not getting anything about breakup vibes, you all, as of yet. So let's see, Romance Oracle, love messages for Libra. Okay, I'll take that one. February 2020, love messages for Libra singles. February 2020, Cards Universe. Love messages for Libra singles. 2020. More cards, love messages. Be for single February 2020. Okay. Bottom of the deck. Okay, this could be the one. All right. So let's see, Libra. We have ooh the Ten of Swords. This is about heart heartache, you all. Heartbreak. Uh, Libra, you may have been heartbroken about someone or, and this could be someone from your past. This could be someone, um, uh, more recent, a recent breakup, but you've been heartbroken. You've completely, you're coming out of that energy. That's what this 10 of swords is. It's like, if you could see the imagery of the 10 of wands right now and where you were in regards to that and where you are now, you're, you, you're coming out, you're done. What? <laughs> Guess what happened? Okay, Libra Singles, your person is coming in for sure. We even have this could be the one at the bottom of the deck. Uh, so yeah, you've completely let go of what was in the past. And now look what you're calling in. This is either someone that you have met, that you are with, um, or someone that's coming in. But you have this Ten of Cups. And this is, Libra, what I'm getting with this Ten of Cups too, you're looking for family. You're looking for that happily ever after. This is what you're calling in. Like you're calling in your soulmate. We have the Page of Swords. So definitely, Libra, you've been out there. You've been looking. Uh, you have someone that you may have been looking at in particular with this Page of Swords that you're particularly focused on or someone who's particularly uh, focused on you, Libra. But definitely, and I'm getting with this Knight of Swords, you've been talking to someone more serious than not. Maybe even if this person isn't serious, like you don't know exactly what's going on with this person as of yet or this person has yet to come in. There's someone coming in strong with, with uh, communication. You're very much so. I'm, I'm seeing all of the romantic things happen between the two of you. Um, I'm seeing the cute conversations and things of that nature. I'm seeing uh, cute coffee dates or cute dates out and just 
I'm saying it, you all. It's happening. It's in the now. Ace of Swords. Okay. So definitely the person, well, you all are air, <laughs> Libra, but uh, you could be talking to another air sign. Um, for some of you, I am picking up water. I'm picking up Pisces um, more in particular. But definitely Libra, this is the month of beginnings for you romantically. You're starting anew and I'm, I'm feeling fresh energy. I'm feeling someone new um, or for some of you, if this is someone from the past that you've recently gotten back in contact with, um, this is someone that, you know, it's new energy, like if it's someone from the past, but definitely I'm feeling more so new energy. Um, there's a lot of talking going on, you know, as in like continued conversation or the start to something new, someone you're very fascinated with. That's what I'm getting, Libra. You're very fascinated with someone this month. We have the three of wands in the reverse. Libra, what you have been waiting on is finally here. It's finally in the queue. It's finally showing up. So that's what I'm getting with that three of wands. You're not waiting for your ships to come in. They're they're in. They're coming. They, they've arrived. We have the knight of cups. So what I'm getting with this knight of cups in reverse, Libra, this is more so you taking your time in regards to love. Uh, maybe in the past, you've sort of rushed in with this uh, cup right here that this knight has to offer. But this time it's like, you know what? Let me fill this situation out and see if uh, I want to offer them what's in this cup um, or if I want to change this cup into a king's cup. Uh, for some of you, you could be younger than this person or this person could be younger than you. But definitely what you're hoping to offer or what you're hoping is being offered to you, Libra, is this 10 of cups right here. This is what you want. This is what's in that cup, you all, essentially for either you're the person who's offering the cup or the cup is being offered to you. This 10 of cups is what's offered, was what's being offered in that knight of cups. But what I'm kicking up for the vast majority is you're not very sure. Okay, let me make sure I want to give them this this ten of cups energy we have the high priestess so definitely libra you've been doing a lot of self-work and i'm seeing you a bit more not reserved but see there's not things you're holding back as in hidden this is more so observation of you allowing yourself to get to know you allowing yourself to take the time out to release what it is that you want this person to know um because I'm not, I'm not even necessarily picking up dating around. Definitely, Libra, you very much so may be dating around multiple partners or multiple people, rather. However, though, I'm seeing you very taken with just one person in particular or just one energy in particular. Someone that you have in mind. Someone that you, where is that page of swords? Someone that you've been having your eye on and maybe have already been talking to. But there's parts of you that you keep. And not keep from them in secret because this is definitely not a secret energy. Just more so it's to be revealed to them in time. If they, you know, I don't want to say, yeah, pass this first test. Get past this first gate for you to be able to turn this over. and like, okay, all right, so we're good. Let, let me offer them this cup right now. So this is you still figuring them out. Definitely so. But more, I am, I'm picking up that it's, it's heading more so in the direction that you want it to go versus... I'm, I'm just picking up, this could be the one. This this is someone that you may be finding yourself very much settled with. We have the chariot that's in the reverse. Uh, I told you I was getting water energy, um, though I was feeling heavy Pisces. This person can be a cancer or have cancer in their charts. Uh, so yeah, what I'm getting with this chariot, not that you're not moving forward in regards to love. This is more so, this chariot is moving most definitely, but this chariot is moving at just at a steady pace. You're not rushing in. Maybe in the past, too, why this Knight of Cups is in reverse, Libra, is because you've moved in in regards to love quickly, without thought, without, you, you were just, okay, let's do this tonight. You've learned from your past mistakes, so you're not necessarily rushing in to move in on this situation. You're filling it out. And we have the strength card in reverse. So Libra, you could be dealing with a Leo in particular, but definitely what I picked up, when I'm getting with this strength card in reverse, this person has you weak in the knees. Like this person kind of has you a big, it's like, I think I might kind of like them more. If this is someone you've been dating, like I think I like them more than what I'm, you know, than I did the last time, like, for a lot of you, I'm picking up that this may be someone that you 
end up very much so falling in love with uh deeply infatuated with um this is looking pretty good leo i mean leo libra uh and it could be with a leo but this is looking pretty good for you libra uh in regards to just the person that's coming in the connection you're making i'm more so picking up libra not that this person isn't forever i'm just picking up the heavy energy of you're still getting to know this person this is why too you have all these swords you know you you you're finally over a past situation or a past lover just or a past ideology now you're ready to do the beginning stages that's talking that's establishing a connection and that's what i'm really getting in february the connection is, is going to move stronger and what i'm picking up is if everything pans out for you in the month of february this is the cup this night will turn right side up and this is the cup the cup that the universe is offering you or that you're ready to go forth with with someone else so let's see romantic feelings what did i tell you you're stirring up your feelings uh your feelings are being your feelings are worth gosh you all your feelings are real and worth exploring so definitely those romantic stirrings are happening for you libra in this month uh and, and like i said a lot of this is the beginning stages of something beautiful something that could possibly be it for you this could be the one and it's like you're taking your time for some of you reading uh reading this for some of you looking at this reading it's like, well, I, I I have met someone or, okay, so I'm in the energy of meeting someone. It hasn't quite happened yet, but, you know, uh, it could be that, that energy, you know, where you're open, but you haven't met anyone yet. However, though, you know that I'm willing to get to know somebody. You know, you're still excited. You're still optimistic. So definitely, Libra, you have something. Definitely. It's not even on the horizon. It's, it's in the now. It's happening. Past life relationships, I told you. Uh... Some of you have let go of someone. And for some of you, Libra, uh, you just simply, someone may be returning. Someone may try to come in. I told you for some of you, that new person, that new energy could be someone from the past. Uh, though I'm picking up for a lot of you, this is someone new um, that's coming towards you. However, though, it never shocks me for when the energy of you healing yourself fixing yourself getting in tune yourself of course past energy is coming in but i'm not really seeing you entertain that past energy libra for giving and learning uh a lot of you once again you've gone on that health that um self-healing journey and yeah you've just decided to let go though that's what I mean. it's not even that you hold grudges or hurt to the past libra you've legitimately decided to just let this thing go with that ten of swords at the bottom of the deck in regards and with uh forgiving and learning we have unrequited love so for some of you libra and and this is because you know okay so actually i'm getting twofold for some of you you let go of something this unrequited love right here you let go of something that just wasn't panning out for the two of you um and this could have just been this could have been i mean like just the month before the week before and it's like uh and you may have really been feeling this person too libra but you let this thing go because I can't say, yeah, I'm not going to say what I'm not feeling. I'm not picking up heavy that this new person coming in is unrequited. Like, this isn't, this doesn't feel like the energy coming in, Libra. This feels like the energy that just moved out. Or perhaps, you know, even in this past life situation, this was something that didn't quite work out. Even if you had deep feelings for this person. But I'm not saying you go forth in this direction, Libra singles. Uh, definitely, in, in regards to unrequited, this is more so like a, a just past energy. Like, I just let this person go. Or this person just let you go. But you, it's ended. It's done. And you're ready to move forward. That's what I'm picking up with that. And we have make the effort. So, once again, I'm, I'm feeling more so in regards to new energy for you, Libra. There's someone new coming in. Or there's someone new that's there that you are like okay this is worth exploring because either this thing didn't work out in the past or i'm ready to get out of this old energy i'm ready to let this old thing go but i'm definitely feeling someone new yeah i'm feeling more new energy than that um but definitely the very beginnings of something special uh libra so yeah let's take a look at who's coming towards you exactly i'm gonna get some uh romance oracles i'm gonna pull from a different deck from a different deck and we're going to do some penny charms all right so first universe 
fellas, who's coming towards Libra Singles, February 2020? Who's coming towards Libra Singles, February 2020? Three cards. Ah, there we go. Okay. Bottom of this deck, pay attention to the red flags. That has something to do, what I'm picking up thus far, you all, is that old energy paying attention to the red flags. I told you with that past life relationship that came up, I'm not picking up that this is someone that you necessarily want to go towards. And with that past life relationship, Libras, it could be someone serious from the past, someone that you just had a thing with in the past, but I'm not saying that you want to go towards that. All right, so universe, tell us what's coming towards Libra, February 2020. It's coming towards Libra, February 2020. Any more cards, universe? It's coming towards Libra, February 2020. So one more. It's coming towards Libra. Up oh, there we go. February 2020. Bottom of the deck, we got the magician. I just heard someone who's magical. And let's pay attention to the red flags, too, with this magician at the bottom of the deck. Actually, let me move this out the way. This could be in regards to someone who is manipulative, you know? So, and that's not to say that the person that's coming in, that new person, is manipulative. More so, you know, you attract the good and the bad, Libra. That's just how that is. So let me get some penny cards. That's a more identifier. So you may be coming in. Okay. So actually, I'm going to go with this one. Okay. All right, so let's find out who's coming towards you, Libra. We have the world's card. So this person, I'm picking up this is more so this is someone who likes to travel a lot. This is a traveler. Uh, not necessarily that this is someone from a distance. For some of you, Libra, this could be someone uh, from the past at a distance or that you met this person at a distance somewhere. Um I'm picking up more so out of um, your city or town or state or even country, someone um, or even family or friends. We have the Ten of Staffs. So I'm not getting, uh, let's see. And funny that the Tens are coming out for you all. Uh, and then you're a lot, uh, Libra. You could be a uh, Libra that's born in the month of October, 10th month of the year. I don't want to say someone who's difficult for some of you because or ah, it's not someone that's difficult but with this ten of staffs this person for some of you once again because we got this magician in reverse so i'm getting that manipulative um behavior maybe someone who was a bit manipulative or maybe someone who, who who's trying to pin a baby if you're a man um or a woman it, with the person you were involved with someone was trying to pin a baby on them i am picking that up with the pay attention to the red flags too but someone who I am, no, that's what I'm getting overall with this tennis test. Someone who may be a bit difficult. But once again, I'm not seeing you. And once again, Libra, that's why that cup is, that cup with the Knight of Cup was in the reverse because you're not trying to pour that thing out, just anybody. But this is not the person that I'm picking up in the energy that you were talking to or that you're in talks with or that you will be in talking to. More so, this is an energy that you're definitely passing over. And this may be that person from the past. Ah, ten of coins. So wow. So we do wow, the tens are really popping out for you all. Oh my gosh. So and this person could be born maybe the tenth day of a month, or that could be your birthday, tenth day um of October, uh Libra, if you are in October, uh Libra. But I'm also picking up, or maybe there's a friend coming in too with that birthday. I'm picking up. But also Libra, what I'm picking up is uh this is this is yeah, this is a settled energy. This is someone that, that could be could be a longevity could be a marriage even this new person coming in this could be the person that you marry so though you have difficult energy because definitely this is the energy of someone else um though you have difficult energy and that just could be in regards to you know if you're dating other people there's this subtle energy this is more of the energy that i'm picking up libra singles that you're talking to or we'll be talking to three of staffs so the person that's coming in they've been waiting for you or i'm, I'm hearing this is the love you've been waiting for so what you've been waiting so though and it's funny, we had the three of staffs in the first half, uh, Libra singles that was in the uh, reverse. And that was, you're getting what, you, what you've been wanting. It's, it's happening. You're no longer waiting. But this is someone that you've been waiting for. So this is what I'm getting with this, these two together. This is the person that you've been waiting on. 
this love, this energy, this this very much so can be happening. And if it's not with them, Libra, it's definitely when it's it's now. It's in the now. If it's not them, it's the very next person. Like this this is what I'm feeling. Death. So you can have a Scorpio that's coming in. But also what I'm getting with this, um, also in re in regards to that ten of swords in the upright, how you finally let something go, you're ready to renew. Uh, for some of you, this is a fresh energy of you be being able to renew. Um, for some of you, definitely this person from the past, past, you're realizing this thing is completely dead. And yeah, this person could definitely be a Scorpio. Um, but just, you're ready to be done. It's like you, you are so done with the past, uh, Libra. So definitely, it's like, honestly, with this, with this death card, it's like, you know, the Grim Reaper, like you're standing at a crossroads. Rose. For some of you, this person from the past really was someone you were enmeshed with, crazy about. But this person is in someone new is the person that you have the future with. The possibilities are endless and great. I mean, even look what they're offering. You got the 10 of coins on this end with the new energy. You have the 10 of staffs, burdens, you know, moving forward, you know, difficulties, you know. So I find that very interesting. So we have playfulness. Definitely someone new, someone you're going to be flirting with. I'm just picking up something cute. Like, it's not even like, you know, hey let's go have sex right now you know like it's it's the cutesy flirty stuff it's it's a, it's like a rom-com you all <laughs> retreat definitely someone for some of you uh you may be going away with someone um we do have this world card you may be exploring that old option only to see you know i'm gonna keep going in that other direction um but definitely you're taking time away to oh wow yeah okay so and this is so crazy Libra, I'm getting that you may try to explore things in the past with this other person just, just to see, but I'm getting this honeymoon energy with someone else new. It's almost like looking backward is going to let you, nah, those are just my feelings I was feeling, and it's going to thrust you in a direction, almost like the universe <laughs> in some crazy way. Not that the universe is sending you this person, this person's energy is sending themselves to you. But like you seeing all the hell that's still wrapped there is going to thrust you. It's like this person. Oh, wow. This magician and what they've been trying to manifest. Oh, and look what. Yep. It's someone from the past. It goes directly at the bottom underneath the magician in reverse. This person and, and, and what they were trying to manifest towards you is actually going to help <laughs> propel you towards the new person. So the universe is utilizing it, though. This is this person. Um. Though this is this person who's manifesting this, the, the universe is going to utilize this crazy red flag manifestation and thrust you towards the new because the universe wants you to have something better. Engagement. So definitely, I'm picking up more so vibes. Not, now for some of you, no, this is actually, no, this is not the couples. This is, yeah, the engagement. So if you've been talking to someone, February, yeah, I am seeing, I'm seeing you all spend Valentine's Day with someone. If you've been talking to someone quite serious that you really want to get to know, really want to be with. I'm seeing something nice. I'm seeing you out on a date. I'm seeing you be with each other. You know, I'm seeing you thrust yourself into this situation with the new because maybe you entertained the thought of the old and it was like, I know that's, that's definitely not for me. All right. So let's see. Pennywise, what came out of your penny charms? All right. So we have, wow, the number 10. 10 is significant you all for some of you whatever 10 represents the number 10 october the 10 is very significant um we have july in regards to who's coming towards you so that once again i told you i was feeling cancer energy or that person could be a leo we did have leo pop out we have the letter m miriam i just heard the name miriam we have the letter n oh wow doubling in on the letter n we have the letter c so and these could be any of your initials too we have the letter K. I just heard crystal, crystal with a K. Um, we have the letter F. We have the letter F again. Oh, wow. You are making a lot of repeats. And the universe really, and I'm hearing Nancy with that in too. Scorpio. This person could be a Scorpio. Um, we have a Q. I just heard Quinetta. Quinetta. This person can either be a Quinetta or related to a Quinetta. Uh, we have June. So this person can be a June Cancer or a Gemini. We have the letter T. This person can, could, name could start with a letter T. We have, oh, the number zero. Hmm, interesting. We have the letter V. So this person's name could start with the letter V. 
and we have the letter E. And this person's name can be spelled out here too. So uh, let's see. Yeah, we got V N Vin. <laughs> so yeah, that's what I have for you, uh, Libra singles, in regards to who's coming towards you. All right, let's get into our couples news. Libra couples, what's going on with you all's love life for the month of February? All right, Libra, I was about to say Libra singles, Libra couples, universe, give us messages for Libra couples for February 2020, love. Love messages for Libra couples for February 2020. Thank you for the channel messages. Love messages for Libra 2020. February 2020. Any more cards, universe? Two more cards. Love messages for Libra couples. February 2020. My feeling is. Bottom of the deck, the lovers. There's a song coming on, but what is it, universe? Love messages for Libra couples, February 2020. Thank you. Any more cards? Two more cards. Love messages for a couple. There we go. Unrequited love. Okay, Libra couples. Let's see what's going on with that one because for some of you, this could be a situation that's ending. For some of you Libra couples that I'm getting, this could be someone that you wanted things to work out with this uh, lovers. That's what's coming through. Um, however, it's just not panning out. But I'm not picking up unhappiness in it. I'm picking up more so you're the one who may be letting this person go. So we have the magician, yeah, in the reverse. And I know you all saw that when it popped out. Uh, so, yeah, this is something maybe you've been trying to make this thing happen and it's just not panning out for you all. For some of you, we have the seven of staffs. For some of you, this could be in regards to if you've been, you know, kind of, you know, been at odds with your person. We do have this lover's energy where you are getting back closer. Definitely February is a month about romance and love. So if there's a time to get closer, definitely um, Libra couples you're getting closer for others of you it's like you've been trying to fight for this thing that's what i'm picking up too for a vast majority of you you've been trying to fight for this romance you know you've been doing everything you could do praying spell work for some of you if that's what you you know uh believe uh just you you all been really trying thoughts vibrations just everything in a book um for some of you you've been trying things outside of your belief and it's just it's not happening right now and this person could be a gemini in particular king of swords yeah for some of you i'm picking up strict strict like you're cutting somebody out you're cutting them off or you're cutting them out just or communication has been a bit cold and on the flip side for some of you i'm seeing this like communication beginning with this person so if you've been at odds with with your person communication is now resuming oh wow six of coins so definitely back into the love of it all um, for couples, I'm saying, yeah, this is definitely dating. For those of you that are in a happy situation, uh, once again, Libras, if you are in a great situation with your person, you're not feeling any of this, then this is not for you. Don't so take this and then and, and, and internalize it. It's not for you. But for those that is resonating with, uh, listen up and consider booking a reading with me. But yeah, with the six of coins, uh, Libra. Uh, yeah, this is giving. So definitely, you're going to be giving gifts to each other. You're going to be exchanging gifts this month. Maybe your person is born in February, Libra couples, but you're, you're going to be exchanging gifts. Ooh, yeah, but here we are. It's like we're di dipping in and out and in and out. For some of you Libras, yeah, a commitment is coming to an end, but I'm not picking up a commitment necessarily that you are sad about coming to an end. This is more so like something that you saw ending. It's like you saw the end maybe... Not before it began, but the end not too soon after establishing this relationship, you knew eventually it would come to an end. For some of you, you're ending it while you're still at the top of the year because you want to be able to manifest in someone new. Yeah, the devil card. So you could be dealing with a Capricorn. 
um definitely in regards to libra couples the, this more so i'm picking up on uh, sexual relations someone you're very enmeshed with or will be very enmeshed with um but then on the flip side this is so crazy how i'm just getting this in and out message on the flip side libra couples if you're letting go of this person this is a lot of toxicness that was in this relationship a lot of codependency someone who's very unmotivated just undriven not really wanting to do much or just on your level you two were growing in different directions and it's like you're letting this go for some of you you don't even want to wait until after you know valentine's day if that means something for you it's like no i want to let this go now i just picked up february 7th some of you will be breaking up with your person february 7th yeah with this will of fortune this thing this thing is ended and look you're representing yourselves again in the tens um libras but yeah something about 10 is significant for you libra just in general in whole if you're watching this from the singles through um but yeah yeah, this thing is coming to an end, you all, for some of you. And this is not, I'm not even picking up sad energy. I'm picking up, I've been wanting to do this. This is more so like confirmation. We got the Knight of Cups. Oh, wow. The King of Cups, I'm sorry. And look, this King is even pouring out his cup. Like for some of you, you're pouring out your cup of love to someone or, you know, back into someone. This is just, this just solidifies, you know, the relationship of, okay, this is where I know I want to be. And then for others of you, you're leaving home with this. You're pouring out your cup. It's like you want this love, but you want it elsewhere. And yeah, we have the nine of coins. So you're not comfortable, Libra. For those of you that are breaking up, you're not comfortable. You're ready to be done with the situation. That's what I'm picking up with that. And then on the flip side, this is maybe a Libra couple. Once again, you're getting back together um, and you're, you're, you're getting back into that lap of luxury comfort zone but definitely more so with this lovers at the end of, at the bottom of the deck this has to do with uh gemini definitely picking up heavy on gemini energy or it could be capricorn so we have retreats uh it's time to disconnect and from the world some of you are going on vacation with your person i'm picking oh i just saw something um someplace warm maybe the caribbean uh but yeah definitely oh wow this popped up again some of you will be getting engaged on vacation look at that i am definitely picking up the caribbean or maybe you are in the caribbean already uh, you're watching me from one of the islands there but yeah oh my gosh that is so sweet trust oh wow oh wow i told you for those of you that are in love you know you're not going anywhere you're reestablishing this thing or you're doubling down oh but someone's getting engaged though on vacation on a retreat and i am picking up uh the caribbean i am picking that up a country in the caribbean um i'm picking that up that's that's what's coming through and we have uh pay attention to the red flags yep so back to this unrequited um and it's crazy how that came up for singles too but yeah, pay attention to this unrequited love. For some of you, you've been noticing these red flags way too much. And it's like, okay, this thing is ending. I'm done. You're ready to walk away. So let's get some cards as to, let's see who's coming towards you just in general. Who's coming towards Libra couples, February 2020. Definitely in regards to this unrequited love. Who's coming towards Libra couples, February 2020. Give me four cards, universe coming towards Libra couples February 2020. Ooh, there we go. I said four cards and I got my four cards. Bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Wands. Oh, wow. Bottom of the deck, Ace of Wands. Yeah, the passion is leaving for some of you. The passion, and, and this is, yeah, definitely more so in regards to um, Libra couples where it's not working passion is leaving so we had oh wow the double came out again okay there's a capricorn coming towards you or this doubles down in that codependent energy look how the devil is on this person's back you know like this is something that's been weighing heavy on you all yeah something's ending for someone um in regards to if this was a difficult situation libra we have the five of pentacles you may have been feeling out in the cold remember i told you that communication has been a bit just you're ready or you're ready to go out in the cold you're ready to leave yeah but definitely there there could be a capricorn that's significant that's coming towards you too because capricorn came out twice couples we have the star card we have an aquarius 
um, that could be coming towards you. Or for a lot of you, you just lost hope in the situation. You lost hope in the situation, like the passion is long. The, the thrill is gone. I am hearing that the thrill is gone. I got a song for you too, it's Fantasia. The thrill is gone. That's what's popping up. It's like, you're just, yeah, you're just done. Yeah, listen to this Fantasia song. I'm, I'm hearing the lyrics as it go, especially with this magician in reverse, this manipulative energy to pay attention to the red flags, the unrequited love. Yeah, this thrill is gone. This person could have been older than you two Libra couples. And it's like, you tried and tried and tried. And it's like, it, this isn't working out. And maybe... For those of you that are getting out of this situation, go if you aren't or haven't, go listen to the first half. In regards to that past energy I was picking up for Libra singles, that could be you, some of you trying to hold on to that, and it's, it's gone. The universe is saying, eh, let it go, and look what came out again for Libras. But this time, this came out for Libra singles, but in, but in the same position, strength and reverse. This thing is breaking you down. So definitely, it could be a Libra coming towards you. So this person, this person has broken this down. This thing is broken down. All right, so let's see. Penny charms, what's coming in? More things, okay. So more identifiers, we have the letter C. You could be the letter C or your person. I mean, Crystal again. So I have Crystal with a K and now we're in Crystal with a C. So Crystal can be very significant. Um, we got the letter D. We have December. Someone could be a Sagittarius or a Capricorn again. Wow. Then we have, we're doubling down on Sagittarius. We have the letter oh goodness h just heard henry have the letter v letter v is significant september this person you can be a september libra they can be a september libra libra or virgo i'm definitely getting more virgo with that we have the letter f I just heard something about fed fred september september could be a very significant month maybe this is when things started shaking up for you um uh libra singles i mean libra couples we have april this person it could even be april um or you could have met them in an april but definitely and then we have 12 12 again december um uh, or this person can be born on the 12th or significant in regards to 12 so that's what i have for you libra uh couples as to what you can expect who can come towards you and possible identifiers and once again if this isn't resonating for you libra couples this isn't your reading and you can always book a private reading with me information in the description box and the pinned comment below all right so last but not least let's take a look at just general messages what's uh general messages and precautions for libra the collective universe 2020 General overall messages and precautions for Libra 2020. Messages, warnings, precautions for Libra. General messages, warnings, precautions. Something was flipped over. Oh, ah, there it is. Okay. General messages, precautions, warnings for Libra 2020. Any more cards, universe? General messages, warnings, precautions for Libra. And I keep wanting to say Gemini, you all. I think this, this thing has something to do with Gemini. Because I keep on hearing Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. All right, let's get some more cards. Me three cards, universe. Overall messages, precautions, warnings for Libra. Ooh, that one flipped out. Make sure I keep that one to the side. That flipped out aggressively. Overall messages, warnings, precautions for Libra, Gemini. I told you all, this is something about a Gemini. Some of you might be breaking up with Gemini because, I mean, like, it is in my head. I even said it. Wow. Oh, wow. Okay. Any more universe for Libra messages, warnings, precautions, 2020, February. Surrender your addictions. When I tell you that devil kept popping out, you all are attached to something unhealthy. And this could just be impersonal, but it's time for you to let go of that. Ah, uh, let's see. Let's see. We're going to pull some chakra cards. You know, overall messages, warnings, precautions for ooh, Libra. Any more? The 2020. Okay, I'm here to start with that. With those two and we have heart chakra at the bottom of the deck we got stripping illusions yep something's coming to an end more so something's being uncovered libra you're finding out something and it's going to blow your mind in regards to 
Like, it, it's going to blow the lid off of something. Like, just everything, not everything you knew, but what you thought something was, it's going to be uncovered. So, give me three cards. Overall message, warnings, precautions for Libra. February 2020. Overall message, warnings, precautions for Libra. February 2020. Bottom of this deck. Six of Cups. Things from the past. Be mindful of things from the past or people from the past. So let's get into this. We have joy. So definitely the universe is telling you to tap into your joy. For some of you, your heart chakra has been underactive. Maybe it's been blocked. You need to, you know, do what you need to do in order to open that up. Because for some of you, you know, but you're getting, I told you, I'm, I'm getting, you, you, you may have been a bit mistrusting or hurt or burned from the past, jaded from something in the past, but you're coming up. You're coming up and you're opening up. Um, in regards to your heart chakra. So I'm more so feeling like it's like this thing should more so be like right in this position <laughs> because you're getting back in a healthy state. Definitely. We have abundance. Oh, wow. You de you have a lot coming in. Definitely your coins. Libra. Oh, my gosh. You will be gaining much, not just in life and experience and the richness of the world, but you actually have money coming in. Oh, wow. We have home. So this is more so... Not, mm, this more so has you're becoming comfortable with self like you're becoming more at home more comfortable with self Libra you may be a homebody so you may stay home a lot but no this is about being comfortable with self more so like recognizing the blessings around you definitely in regards to outside of love everything is good I mean like even if you've like for some of you let go friends recently or just connections but everything is so good I'm feeling a warm energy for you all in regards to that ancient wisdom for some of you you're going to your love life um you're asking people family um elders the the you know someone that's of an authority figure for you about your love life what to do because this is the only thing it's like i got everything else like can we what's what's going on with that especially with uh couples if you've been kind of back and forth in your mind about that struggle uh so yeah for some of you once again, surrender addictions. There's something that, and this doesn't have to necessarily be like a substance, you know, of any kind or a drug or just something you're addicted to. Something that's just really gets you weak. And I told you that strength card kept on coming out for couples and singles in reverse. Something that really has you weak, you all. Uh, let's see. We have the Empress that came out. Uh, so definitely this is newness. You're creating a new relationship. You're going into new. What you want in regards to your heart chakra is in the now. What did I tell you? And this is also business ventures too. Because once again, we got the three and the three. There's a lot of abundance coming in for you all. It could be in business matters, but you're creating something special in the month of February. Your, your 2020, at least financially and just, you know, peace of mind, soundly, things of that nature. You all are having the best 2020. Six of staffs. Oh, wow. So some of you, maybe you're getting a promotion or you're going to be heavily celebrated in the month of February by by your job um, or by your friends. No, this is something coming in. This has to do with money. You're going to be heavily celebrated. Some of you I'm picking up, you're going to see your name in a publication. Like it's, it's, it's big, you all. We have the six of swords. You're moving on. You're, <laughs> uh, yeah, you're paying attention to the red flags. Look at that. You're moving on. You're moving on. So definitely there's a past energy coming in. Couples and singles. Libras that was represented in this reading. Libra as general. Past energy is coming in. But guess what? Funny. Bottom of the day. You lost hope in that situation. You're investing in yourself. Look at the cards that are just underneath this. Some past life energy uh, coming in for all Libra that I'm picking up energy wise. But you're moving on. It's like uh, I ain't got nothing to do with that. Because this may have been something that, that, that you were addicted to. We have the page of coins. Look. This not only with money, but you're moving forth in your life. This is new horizons. You, this is it. 2020 is your year. Surrender frustration. So definitely in regards to maybe someone from the past, this person could have gotten you a bit frustrated, but you're getting out of that. Surrender outdated beliefs about yourself. So for some of you who think, okay, well, maybe this isn't for me. You're getting out of that. The universe is telling you stop thinking that because once again, you're in a month of an abundance surrender stress for some of you your abundance could be connected to stress once again I'm, I'm seeing you exalted in a work environment maybe you just got done doing a really heavy project that's what i'm picking up too but this yeah let that stress go for some and i just heard it's not that easy but universe is telling you stop worrying it's all good 
surrender to creativity so a lot of you maybe you are a creative maybe you're an artist maybe I just heard a rapper um but yeah maybe you rap maybe you um you have music out maybe you're someone you know of a certain stature and platform you're looking at this and i thank you for your energy um as well as all of the other energies that watch me and this is like you know whoa you know um but definitely in regards to your work and your creation you're being exalted exalted this month you're you got a lot of money coming in people are catching your wave this is amazing um i just heard maybe you want to be friends with a libra and oh wow we surrendered the drama for some of you i told you i'm getting creativity you can be an actor um or just some of you are just leaving behind what i tell you because where's that some of you are just leaving this crap behind you're done you're just like i am done and definitely if this drama is an old energy you're like i'm done or an old addiction i'm done but some of you can be an actor too that's what i'm getting with that drama you you're in drama so let's see what came out in your chakra cards Ooh, your crown chakra so some of you got to get more in tune with that higher power maybe you've been a bit and this isn't even if you that you don't have faith what i'm picking up maybe you've been a bit too busy lately and it's like you got to get fine um Maybe you have to find the time to pray or just get with yourself, your higher self, your divine. But you got to get more in tune with that source connect, um, you know, that source connection, that, that source energy spirit. Ooh, sacra sacra is in reverse. Okay, so some of y'all been out there bang, 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 banging, okay? Like just overindulging. Wow, and what did I tell you? We had the devil pop out multiple times in this reading. It could be with an ex. It could be a Capricorn. It, and then we had the devil represent again and surrender your addictions. Some of you, and this doesn't necessarily have to be bang, 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 banging, but the sacral usually deals more with the sexual energy too, of course, and other things, but just the pleasure principle. You all have been way more pleasure than principle. Um, so definitely you want to get this in balance, you all. But I am feeling that energy too, though, Libra. And the reason why, especially for those of you with this new person coming in, why you're not necessarily just pouring that cup into them just yet, you're trying to get the sacral energy balance. So it's like, okay, let me take my time. Let me take my time. Let me take my time. Though you may really be like, but I just really want to bang, bang, bang them. You know, not because sex is the only thing on your mind. You're just a passionate person, you know. We even had, you know, Ace of Wands come up in reverse. So you're a very passionate person. You like that that energy, that sexual energy. But it's like, this time you're trying to do something different. It's like, you know, the whole thing, if you keep doing the same thing, expecting different results, it's insanity. You're trying not to be insane this, this go around. That's what I'm picking up for that. So, yeah. Oh, wow. Overall, you, you know what? You're doing the work, though. Even though the sacral energy is in the reverse, I'm still feeling you're doing the work. It's like you've been, this is like the tail end of maybe what you've been doing January or October or September through. Especially because September got doubling down. But you're doing the work. It's like, you know what? I don't care what I got to do. I want both of these to be seen. All of these, actually. I don't care what I got to do, but we're going to do it. So let's see more about who may be coming towards you or what may be coming towards you in significant. Some penny charms. You all think it sound like, like wind? Maybe I'm just tripping. <laughs> all right. Let's get, let's get done with this. I have things to do today. <laughs> Uh, let's see. That's what we got in the pennies. And let's find out what's coming towards you. In the times in itself. Okay. All right, so we got the squishy cat. Rest and relaxation is coming towards you. Vacations, I told you I was picking that up. And then, okay, so I got this keychain from Jamaica. I told you I was picking up the Caribbean. Oh my gosh. And we got the seashell. Someone may be getting engaged in Jamaica. Wow. Oh my goodness. I broke it to you first. You heard that. Uh, definitely. Uh, I'm seeing nights out on the town. You're going out. Whether this is with your solid person or not, you're going out with family, friends, people. You're just, you're happy. Once again, what did I tell you? Uh, where does it, where did it go? Where's that ring? There's an engagement on the horizon, but much happiness and success because not only that, uh, this reminds me, it's a flower, but it's a sun flower. At least that's what that looks to me. It looks like the sun. Happiness is, is definitely, it's here. Um, good fortune, what did I tell you with that? abundance you got good fortune coming in with this pendulum right here uh let's see you're getting grounded this month what did i tell you some of you that overactive sacral 
You're getting grounded this month. It's like you're okay. We gotta we gotta get this thing under control. Oh wow. Well. So with this with this bow, this is something brand new. I'm more so getting a gift. Some of you may be receiving an actual gift, but this is this is the gift of something brand new. But I'm getting more so relationship vibes. Ooh, this can even be baby or baby girl. Oh wow, transformation. But this more so usually when I get this butterfly or any butterflies, it's like oh you're transformed. No no no, this transformation is complete. You all have you 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 were that caterpillar. Now you're a butterfly. Double down with it. Look, it's come full circle. Look at that. You're ready. You're ready. Whatever you're calling in, you all, if this new person coming in, if it's someone new for you, if it's not with them, it's the person directly behind them because I'm picking up very much so just connected, loving energy. Uh, this is more so self-grooming. You may be the type that's into self-grooming, but yeah, you're just, you're keeping up with self. You're dolling yourself up. You're cutting out things that don't serve you. Ooh, some of you will be out here impressing uh others we have this peacock feather so so someone's going to be trying to really impress you or you're really going to be impressed by someone or you're going to be impressing someone uh what i'm getting with this robot right here this is about communication definitely be a computer i am picking up someone from far away you're going to be getting an email from someone far away with this um robot message too but just for some of you yeah this is more so doing things by the book that's what i'm getting in regards to just how you're approaching things things a lot of music some of you can be a musician musician i told you i'm picking up a lot of creative energy for you libra uh, or you can be um doing things that involve a lot of music or picking up a project that someone be will be designing something in regards to someone who's a music a musician that's what i'm picking up with that so what we have with this um so this is actually a hair ornament that i got it reminded me of the chanel label so but we got these two circles and it's also like it's like infinity so definitely i'm seeing a bond this is a bond this is about a bond you all um definitely a bonding of a marriage a bonding of a relationship but what you want you all when i say i can't say this enough I, this, this has a lot to do with what you want is coming in and it's looping in it's in the now um libra all i can say is in regards to if you have, are in something that's not working out like you wanted it to right now or if you're in something you're talking to somebody or you know like literally if it's either this person that's your person that's that that you're in communication with or the very next person after that like you're in it's happening and now you have your person and now uh we have this king energy right here with this um earring i always get virgo so there may be a virgo coming towards you whenever i see this crown there may be a virgo coming towards you at least that's the energy i'm getting from the crown today in this reading ah you'll be starting something new what did i tell you for some of you, this may be, you know, a business idea, but you're taking action on something new, but you're going to be exalted. Your, your February 2020 is going to be illuminated. Uh, for some of you, I'm getting with this uh, pink ribbon. Uh, some, for some of you, maybe you dealt with uh, breast cancer in the past or someone you know is a survivor or I just got the message someone it will be surviving their cancer, whether it's breast cancer or any other type. Someone will be surviving. Someone's going to get through that. Yeah, it's not going to take them. That's what I just heard with that. And I'm seeing you get dolled up with this hairpin. This hairpin right here. You're getting dolled up. You're going to be feeling very special. Just heard lost weight too. So some of you could have been in a gym purposefully trying to lose weight. Um, if you haven't been trying to lose weight, that, that lost weight message was not for you. But someone's been in a gym purposefully trying to lose weight. And, and that's what I'm getting with this. You know, you're dolling yourself up. It's something special happening. Something about a reveal, but like a makeover. That's what I'm getting with that too. Or you've made yourself over and it's all happening manifesting it's been manifesting but you're seeing it amplify in february so we got april once again i'm getting a name april that's coming through or someone significant to april or april is a significant month for you we have the letter i we have december again those sages and capricorns are just representing all the way through q we have quentin or quinetta that those keep coming out someone could that could be a name that's significant hey um, or that could be you. We got five. We got eight. Someone turn. Someone in regards to the age, 58. Ten. You all just keep coming out with that ten. ten something significant about ten. Ten might be your favorite number or your lucky number. We have the letter F. We have June. So I told you I keep hearing Gemini. So this could be a June Gemini or Cancer. We have July. 
um, significance about July or, you know, once again, it could be Leo or Cancer. We have C. We have March. Something significant about March. We have Y and we have November. These are um, the energies that I'm picking up or uh, significant things in regards to February 2020 of something that's connected to that. All right. Thank you, all of you who tuned in for this video. Thank you so much for your energy. You all are so wonderful. If you like a personal reading, you know what to do. Check out the description box below as well as the pinned comment. Also, uh, if you are not subscribed to this channel, hit subscribe. Hit the bell notification. I drop videos weekly on a plethora of things. Also, check out some of my other videos. Check out the playlist. I do my best to keep up with the play play playlist, you all, because I do have so many videos on this channel um, on different topics. So, yeah, thank you all into my next and until my next video. Uh, wherever you are in the world, hope you're happy. Hope you're at peace. Peace and back. Blah, 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 blah. You I messed that outro up. Anyway, we're going to do it just like this. Peace and blessings, beautiful people. Goodbye.